Hey everybody, and welcome to Casa de Mo and Sally. Welcome to Sally's Recipe of the Week, brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody, and this is our first uh, Sally's Recipe of the Week for 2023. Hope everybody had a great New Year. Mo, did we have a great New Year's? Sure, yeah, <laughs> fell asleep. Woke up just in time to see the ball drop and then went back, then to, went sleep. back to sleep. Yeah. Yes, but Curtis, on the other hand, um, what time did you get home, Curtis? Like probably 5.30, maybe 6. Went to bed at what time? Like 9-ish. 9-ish. That's 9 a.m. Oh, 9 a.m. Yes. <laughs> and D Stokes is the winner. She's the first to join us. Dana. Hello. For Recipe of the Week. Dana, you win. Absolutely nothing. But our gratitude, <laughs> you win our gratitude, that's for sure. No, you know what? Next time you're in town, we'll buy you a drink at Frigates. Of course we will. We'll buy, we'll do more than that. We'll buy you lunch at We'll buy you lunch and a split <laughs> at Frigates. Uh, we've got Maya up in here. Hi, Maya. Anna, Bear. Hi, Anna. Hi, Bear. Kim, Joanne. Hi, guys. Kim. Uh, Betsy Tyson. Hi, Betsy. She says that color is gorgeous on you. Oh, you're too nice. Thank Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Uh, everybody, thanks for joining us. Happy New Year. Appreciate it much. Tell us what you're making tonight, Sally. Okay, so um, I am making a baked cod. You're, you can switch the camera if you want to. Curtis. Well, um, okay. I'm making a baked cod. Get closer to it. Yeah, you're not in the camera <laughs> shot. How about that? There, there you go. <laughs> yeah, switch the camera so you can't see what I'm making. <laughs> uh, and it's going to have a cheddar cheese breadcrumb crust on top of it. Now I've already put one together and I'm doing that because I'm going to slide it into the oven because it's got to go in the oven for like uh, 20, 25 minutes. So I want to go ahead and put this in the oven and then I'll show you guys how we got here. Okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. yep. Let me put this in the oven. Um, 375 degrees. Oh, and I did spray this with a little nonstick cooking spray. Okay. That's important. And we'll just slide it right in. We'll set it right there we go. Why are you posted up like you're a person? What are you looking at? You know, he's almost mastered opening doors. Uh oh. Uh huh. Yeah, he's, he's watching to... the show. You got yeah. an audience member. <laughs> it's our studio audience. <laughs> All right, is it wine and cheese time? Yes. All right. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Eric. Right, so we go back to that. Yes, we're on this camera. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting on you. Yep. We're doing white wine tonight. Yeah, well, we are having cod, and I looked it up, and uh, it says Pinot Gris. Is that how you say it? Pinot Gris. Pinot. Not Pinot Grigio, but Pinot Gris. Gris. And this is called a wrath, I guess is how you say that. Yeah, I should have poured it. Right. And it's supposed to go good with the fish. And we know we're using inappropriate glasses for this wine, and we don't care. There how, it is. How are the <laughs> Honda Classic glasses inappropriate? It's just not really right for white wine. Not, not really white. Not right. really right for white wine. Uh -huh. Going to be all snobby. Yeah. Well, we're not snobby because we use these glasses. We don't care. Um, how much was this? Do you remember? This is like nine bucks. Yeah. So we haven't had it yet, so we cheers. Let's try it. This is the first time. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Kim says it's fine. Yeah. Mm, that's good. That's nice. Tasty. Okay. And our appetizer is um, Doris has these grape tomatoes on sale, which are my like one of my favorites. And they're the only raw tomato that Mo really likes, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I just split them. And I got some softened goat cheese, and I chopped up some fresh herbs from the garden. That's parsley and chives, and that's it. There you go. Looks like a little red hamburger, doesn't it? Mm. Linda heard cheese and decided to come through. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Good. Tangy is the goat cheese, sweetness of the tomatoes. It's nice. You could even add a little salt to that if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Well, it goes well with the wine, I think. I think it does too because goat cheese is kind of, like I said, it, you know, it's kind of earthy mm -hmm. and this kind of freshens it up. Yeah, the uh, 
either this or a Sauvignon Blanc is supposed to go good with uh, the, the cod. cod. Yep. You have another one? I'll have another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are simple, guys. I, the recipe is not on the website, but put any herbs you like in there, and there you go. You're all set. Okay, so let's figure out how to make the fish. I mean, I know I did it, but I'll show you guys how I did it. Carol in Boca is a loyal listener. She says, thank you, Sally. My husband hates cod, but this may work. Okay, well, I'm glad you brought that up, actually, because I honestly think this same topping would work on baked chicken. But I would split the chicken breast and open it up and then put the topping on it and then bake it. But I really think this would be delicious with chicken. So if you're not a fish person, try that. But if you think you can convert him to cod, there you go. Velma says... A glass is a glass in my book. Yeah. I agree, Velma. Yeah. As long as it holds the wine. I'm less likely to knock this glass over than a stem glass. You better not be knocking a Honda glass, Honda Classic glass over. Oh, you said you're less likely. Vintage. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Doris has cod on sale. Kim says, or pork. Would this work on pork? And what's, um, it might. I really don't know. Um, that's a good question. I, it probably would. Yeah, Kim, we don't have all the answers. I mean, you no, know, just, we just definitely we just, don't. But I do like to give people alternatives if they're if they're not a big, um, you know, fish fan. Okay, can you see the piece of fish on the other camera? I, we can see it here. Or, or you, uh, it you doesn't matter. Switch the camera. Doesn't matter. All right, go ahead. Okay, there we go. Yep, we can see it. Okay, so I've got a nice piece of cod here, and um, you want to blot it with a paper towel because you want it to be nice and dry. Okay, you don't want it wet. And then we rinse off my hands a little bit. And you definitely want to season it with some salt and pepper. You don't have to get a ton of it, just a little bit. Try my hands. Velma says uh, she would do salmon. I would give it a try. I'm not sure cheddar and salmon, but you know what? To each his own. I love salmon, it's one of my favorites. All right, a little salt, a little pepper. And we're gonna do both sides. Now this piece of the cod is thinner than the one that's in the oven, so this one probably won't bake as long. Both sides. Did everybody have a nice New Year's holiday, all that good stuff? Anyone get stuck on a Southwest uh, or get canceled, <laughs> I should say, with the Southwest flight? All right, so that's good to go. And what we're gonna do now is make the topping. Can you see this okay, Curtis? Yep. Okay, so these are fresh breadcrumbs. The, what that means is I just, you can take some slices of bread or um, I just took some loaf of bread that I had and, and cut it into cubes and put it in your food processor. I'm gonna take about, the recipe calls for servings of four. So since I'm only making one serving, I'm gonna be using a little less. So you got your breadcrumbs, you've got freshly grated white cheddar cheese. And you can use this as sharp a cheddar cheese or as mild as you want. I like it sharp. So that goes in there. Hi, Rachel. And I'm going to have to stick my melted butter back in the microwave for a second because it got hard. So. Oh, geez. Anna says uh, Jeeper's mom got stuck in Phoenix with Southwest. Oh, no. I hate hearing that. This will only take a second. Uh, Dana spent New Year's at home on the couch with a glass of vino, and Bear was in bed by 10. You Bear, know what that's... I fell asleep by the fire pit way before 10. <laughs> yeah, I had to go wake you up. Hi, Rachel. We're just going to add some melted butter to this mixture. Oh, I think it's, I think it's done. Because I already melted it once. That's the microwave drawer. Oh, there we go, the James Bond mic. James Bond microwave. Mm. That's Curtis calls it. Okay, it's all nicely melted again. So we're just going to pour in the melted butter. Teresa, goose evening. Goose evening, Teresa. And we're going to add some garlic powder. Yeah. You know, the recipe calls for about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. It really just depends on how much you like garlic. Mo and I are garlic fans. But don't, uh, don't use fresh garlic. Use the powder because it mixes in better, much better. All right, so breadcrumbs, cheese, 
garlic powder, and melted butter. All in my little food processor. It's gonna get loud. Hey Jody, Jody Stewart is joining us. Afternoons on Cool 105.5. It was great hanging out with you, Jody. Yeah, we had uh, a late lunch with Jody on Sunday. At Fruit. Teresa says they have a restaurant uh, there in the desert named Mexican Seafood Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's original. All right, so can you see that, Curtis? Yep. That's what it looks like. So that's our cheese, breadcrumbs, garlic powder, and butter. But we're gonna make it even more delicious. We're gonna put this in a bowl. Thanks, Rachel. She's congratulating me on the win today with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, well. Whatever. Uh, you know. <laughs> I can't get mad at Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's right. I'll, I'll get mad. So just scrape this into a bowl. <laughs> I might have to agree with you uh, on that one, Teresa. I don't know if. Uh, I know Mexican it's, seafood? Mexican seafood, I'm not so sure about that. They need to stick with beans, rice, beef, chicken. I don't know about that. I don't know. What about. Um, Shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos, uh, and that's I, I think some fish, tacos. fish tacos. Yeah, you yeah. know, that's about as far as you can go with that, I think. Oh, not like I don't know if you could do fish enchiladas. Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen. Yvonne? It's a different Karen, not the not Weagle. It's okay. Mac. Well, I, can still, I can still say hi to Karen. Hi, Yvonne. <laughs> All right, so to our little breadcrumb cheese mixture here, we're going to add some fresh chopped parsley. You got Linda all excited. Talking about bread and butter. And she you says, don't have to do it on fish, Linda. Talking her language. All right. Well, just don't look at it now because she's putting green stuff on top of her. But this is just parsley. This is just flavoring. If you want to skip the parsley, you can. Is that good, Eric? The shrimp chimichangas? Ooh. That sounds interesting. And the reason, guys, you don't you don't want to put your um parsley in the food processor is it'll it'll just it won't have its it won't have its integrity anymore. It won't have its texture. So that's why you put it in a separate bowl and mix it in. But you definitely want it in there. It does add a nice little pop of flavor. Linda, that's not too much green. Just just a just a hint of green. All right. Now we're going to take our fillet. Just a reminder, everybody, that uh, this is being brought to you by Doris Italian Market. Six locations in South Florida. If you've never been to a Doris Italian Market. You're missing out. Yeah, it's fun. It's fantastic uh, with a great uh, selection of wine, great bakery, mm -hmm. uh, great seafood, great meats nice and wine. cheeses. Oh, yeah, it's a fantastic place. We go to the one in North Palm Beach a lot. Oh, it's funny. I mentioned on the show today that Doris had cod and mahi-mahi on sale, and I wasn't sure which fish I was going to cook with. It's a good thing I picked cod. Because the guy at the fish counter, when I, I noticed that the whole tray of Mahi Mahi was empty, and he said he sold out in two hours. Wow. Because the price was so good. I mean, the, the price was great. Mahi Mahi is not always cheap. Teresa, Teresa says they need to open up a Doris in Albuquerque. There's Peter Glogler. We just saw Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Wonderful seeing you. Love your new condo. It's awesome. Yeah, Dana says. Hi, Kim. Doris, they used to shop at the one at Coral Springs uh, when they lived in South Florida. Oh, yeah? And Eric says, yes, shrimp chimichangas with onions and peppers and a cheese sauce with rice. Okay. That does not sound bad at all. Maybe I I'll may have, have to, to retract to, my statement. Maybe I'll have to investigate that, you guys. All right, so believe it or not, I'm spreading mayonnaise on top. Uh-oh. But you know what that does? It gives it moisture. You don't need a whole ton of it, but put a little mayo on top. All right. Okay, so we've now got mayonnaise <laughs> on the fish. So we've got our cod, salt and peppered it. Well, patted it dry, salt and peppered it. A little layer of mayo. You don't have to go crazy because you do have all this beautiful cheesy breadcrumbs. Peter's coming back. Uh, Peter says he's coming back in a few weeks, and he wants to see that pergola. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add some stuff to it. And then, guys, you just literally, I would do it, I do it with my hands. You know, nice, clean hands is the best kitchen tool. 
and just take these breadcrumbs because they're nice and kind of, I, I want to say tacky, because they definitely stick together, and just press them onto the top. And you want to make a nice little crust just on the top. But you definitely season salt and pepper both sides of your fish. I have a question. Yes. Now, you know, I'm not a cook. I know. Uh, and <laughs> Shocking. Uh, but yeah. you're going to say something critical. Oh, I'm not going to say. I have a question. Yes. Just, I mean, you're just putting this on top of the fish. Yes. You don't put it on the bottom, like, not, you know, like not when you. this recipe. Yeah. No, not for this recipe. Because you know how, like, when you fry fish or whatever, you don't oh, yeah. you put it all around the fish. Of course. But this is just goes on top just of go, the fish. Is, yeah, just the top. And, um, but, but you do season both sides. That's really important. Not a whole ton of seasoning. See, I wasn't being a smart ass. I had a question. I, I thought I had a smart ass coming. But I was wrong. Okay, so this is ready to go in the oven. Let's see how much time we have. Okay, we still have a little bit of time left. Let's, should we revisit our? Um, uh, well, yeah, because I'm like basically okay. out of wine. Uh, you can't even see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Look, that's all I got left. Let's go back to Mo's camera. Have you guys de Christmas yet? Because we have no. Oh yeah, yeah. There's our tree. <laughs> Uh, today was the day. Today was the day that you were supposed to be Christmas because I get, I think it's the end of the 12 days of Christmas. I think, yeah. Then Eric laid a fifth. I think he did say that. Yeah. It's yeah. A, today is the day, but I, it's not going to happen today. Probably this weekend. I hate to be Christmas. I love it. I told you we could leave the tree up and we could be those people who have, uh, you know, a Valentine's tree and a St. Patrick's Day tree. And... So the wine that we're drinking I believe you would say that's Erath from Oregon. It's a Pinot Gris. It's supposed to go good with the fish. I tell you what, it goes good with the appetizers. Yeah, we're having a little uh, tomato and goat cheese sandwiches. Well, um, the grape tomatoes are about the only raw tomato that Mo will eat. Mm -hmm. And they're on sale at Doris. And so all I did was I bought them, slit them in half, got some softened, Plain goat cheese. You can buy herb goat cheese if you want to skip the step, but um, I just took some parsley and chives out of my herb garden and chopped them up. But they also sell goat cheese, all different flavors. But I, I like it between the tomato, don't you? Yes, I it's good. It, it looks like a little envelope. I, uh, I forget. Curtis, do you eat tomatoes or no? Nah. Not even grape tomatoes? <laughs> no. I don't understand this grape tomatoes are, are fine. That situation with me, yeah. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I appreciate it. Pico de gallo is pretty much fine with me, too. It's just, I salsa. there's no way I could salsa is fine, ketchup's fine. I can't, but I cannot eat a tomato, like sliced tomato, no, on a hamburger yeah. mm, sandwich, no, mm -hmm. want nothing to do with that. Yeah, this may stem from me falling out of my bed when I was a kid. <laughs> That's what happened. He hit his head. I hit my head and I was trapped in a crack. Uh oh, here we go. Where are you going, man? This is trouble. You know, trying to find the wire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me see what I can tear up. Yeah. Kind of oh, I'm gonna go over here in the corner and lick myself. <laughs> what are we? Why are we looking at this? <laughs> well, I don't know. Because we're waiting for the fish to cook. Oh. No. <laughs> we can look at something else. We can. I can go out. Well, I don't know if I can go outside. I might lose connection. Yeah, we gotta test that out. Rachel says that Doris Market and PGA is their best store. Must be talking about the one there in uh, the one that we go to. The one that we go to. I think I think I've been told that's their biggest store. Oh, really? Yeah. Linda says they took theirs down the day after Christmas. Yeah, we had some neighbors here that uh, normally leave their decorations up, but they took them down yeah. pretty quick. Hi, Andy. Hello, Andy. So, again, this recipe, if you would like to um, switch it out with chicken, I think if you took a chicken breast and opened it up and did exactly the same thing that we did, it would, it would be delicious. Just, uh, I don't know exactly the cook time because I've never done that. Teresa says that Christmas is done at their house until next year. Dana says... All their decorations are down except their tree. Man, they left their tree up. Oh, yeah? Happy New Year, Andy. Thanks for joining us, Andy. Anybody get anything interesting for Christmas? 
This look what the um, cashmere's gave us. Jay and Kelly cashmere. Look at this damn cat bowl. Here. <laughs> Isn't that the best? Oh, do we? We don't have a piece of my favorite chocolate in there, do we? I don't know. I it all. These things are really good. I don't know if you've ever had one of those, Curtis. And then these Lindor lints. Is that what you uh -huh. call it? Lint, Lindor. Those are good. Um, th oh, these things are really good, too. Hang on. The uh, peppermint bark. What candy don't you like? Well. And how many um, pieces, slices of pizza did you have at yours? I just had one slice today. Oh, now, you know, mind your business here. We're talking about chocolate right now. <laughs> the Godiva. Uh, Godiva? Dark, it's a dark chocolate heart or something like that. That's my new favorite. It oh, is. my gosh. Oh, my God. They're so good. This is dark chocolate. It's healthy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on a health kick. You know <laughs> we that. Can, we can tell. You had a burrito this morning and you had some pizza. Again, mind your business. <laughs> no, I didn't have a burrito today. I had a bagel today. Oh, that's right. Because the, our kitchen was being invaded. Now, Curtis, do you find this? To, bagels, they'll fill you up, but then it doesn't last long, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I was They're called empty cars. starving by the time we left the station. And I was thinking, okay, we're, I was in the Jeep. Jeep was on, AC's on, I'm ready to go. Sally comes to the Jeep. Oh, I need to run to the restroom before we go. And my stomach was like, damn it. <laughs> All right, since we've got a couple of minutes, coming up on the show tomorrow. Money, of course. Uh, we've got the workday payday going on with your chance to win a thousand bucks. Starts at nine o'clock, and it goes until nine o'clock. Nine o'clock at night. We got that going on. We have a birthday prank call tomorrow. I liked. I like tomorrow's birthday prank call. ICPP. That's, that's all. all most, you need to know. That's all. That's all you need to know. <laughs> ICPP. ICPP. Um, Real mature. Of course, nothing but the best. You know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We've got uh, four random facts tomorrow. I'm working on some pretty good facts for tomorrow. Okay. Um, and we've got Zach Brown. Uh, Zach Brown. Zach Brown band ticket. I don't know why I have a hard time with that band, with that name. band name. I don't like it. Zach Brown band name. Zach <laughs> Brown band. Uh, Let me just take this away. <laughs> no, don't take my wine away. What are you crazy? Uh, Zach Brown band. We have tickets to give away for that tomorrow. Yeah, Curtis, a question. Have you made friends with any of your neighbors yet? It just, it's one day in. I know. I haven't <laughs> talked to nobody. I haven't even seen anybody. Let me guess. You went home and slept. Eventually, I watched some Star Wars cartoon first. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Bear got a Bob Ross stuffed doll for Christmas. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Bear, you know, one Halloween, Mo and I went as Bob Ross. He was Bob Ross. He had the curly wig on and everything. I've got costumes back there somewhere. And I was his painting. So I had my face stuck through a painting. Yep. It was a hit. <laughs> um, no, yeah, Kim, I ain't move. What's that? Well, Kim's saying, what? You move? I ain't move. Uh, Kim got a teddy bear made out of her grandma's fur coat. Uh, oh, Rachel won ice tickets. They went over the break. She says it was amazing, and the kids loved it. That's fantastic. Uh, to see ice. Oh, did you guys see uh, Clint, our digital guys? Um, did you see his video of his kid trying to slide down the ice slide at ice? <laughs> no. What um, happened? Next time you see him, it, have him show it to you. It's hilarious. The kid gets, like, stuck on the ice, and then he sees somebody and he doesn't know them and he tries to crawl back up the ice. It's a, it's hilarious. <laughs> Has he posted it somewhere? No, he showed me today when he was here at the office. No, I ain't moved nowhere. Uh, I don't know where everybody's getting that. that everybody thinks Kurt has moved. Cause you're asking about neighbors. Oh no, no, no. He's just, he's just gonna, he's been there for years. He's just thinking uh, new year's resolution. He needs to get to know some of his neighbors or at least yeah. one. And so we're going to keep... Uh, we're always talking about talking to our neighbors, yeah. this neighbor and that neighbor. And, and we're going to need updates on this because... Uh, Curtis knows dogs' names, but he doesn't know his neighbors. This, this might be good. Linda says she got nada for Christmas. You you got n nothing? Come on. Yeah, Rachel's kids got stuck on the ice slide, too. They need to make that mess slippery there, then. <laughs> they need to put some oil on that thing. 
Everybody's butt cheeks getting stuck on the ice. <laughs> that sounds painful. That's like a tongue getting stuck to the pole, you know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. God, it's been uh, it's been a while since we've been there. I like Gaylord Palms. You ever been, Curtis? No. Well, I've been to Gaylord Palms, not the ice. Not the ice. Yeah. Okay. So. I was there with you. No were we there together? <laughs> were we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We were there for several days. All right. So here we go. Is this the first one? Oh, yeah. This is the first one you cooked. Yeah. How long do you bake this thing? 20 minutes. This one is, look at how much thinner this one is. So this one might be a little less because you definitely don't want to overcook it, but you don't want to undercook it either. Mm, that looks good. Yeah. When do we eat it? <sighs> what the hell was that, Curtis? It was a yawn. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. I, had to I, I know your noises. I had to kind Ew. of. <laughs> <laughs> we know your noises, Curtis. <laughs> that man just said, ew. I kind of pieced together this. All right, well, you know, look, uh, you know, as happens. So you put a little, what are you putting on there now? You don't have to do this. I'm just going to put a little bit of parsley on here because I have some extra. Close your eyes, Linda. <laughs> you don't have to do this, Linda. Linda's like, oh, no, why are you ruining it? And if you want to, a little squeeze of lemon if you want. You know, it just depends on what you like. And all right, let's go over here. And it's supposed to be good with this wine now. It is. We will find Pinot out. Gris. And I will pop the other one. All right, since this little piece kind of fell off, I'm just going to start with this. Yeah, that's just a pre-cut. That's all. I don't know if Peter Glogner is still up in here, but I um, should have mentioned this to you, Peter, while you were here. You know, in the event that Sally and I have an argument, uh, oh, you want <laughs> I might need to stay in your condo. Yeah, because right. Curtis won't let you stay in his condo. I don't have no room. Uh, so, well, Peter's got plenty of room, and I might need to have a key. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful I might, place. I might need to have a key made. Uh, what? Nothing. I'm going to just go ahead. How are you just going to invite yourself over to somebody else's place? <laughs> we roll that way. <laughs> mm. I need a key. I demand a key. Uh, yeah, Kat, uh, Peter, when you come back, if you could have a key made, uh, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've let this cool just a little bit. Um, and you want it, you want it firm but flaky at the same time. I know that sounds a little weird, but I mean, give it a taste. Firm but flaky. Hi, Jim. Happy New Year. Mm. That is so delicious. Yeah. Mm hmm. See that crust? Yep. It's not. It's not too crusty. Oh no. And the fish is moist and flaky. Here, my it's, it's cool enough. This piece is going to be cool enough. I like the squeeze of lemon on top because it gives it a little freshness as well as the um, parsley. But that bread, it's fresh breadcrumbs, white cheddar cheese, garlic powder, and a little melted butter. That's it. Mm, 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 mm. Eric says it looks yummy. Oh, man. Mm. You could, you know, who was it who said her husband doesn't like you know, cod that might like this? Yeah, well, that was several comments ago. I can't. Yeah. yeah. Don't be asking questions like I'm that. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's flaky. It's moist. That's good. And that you is. How, and you saw how easy that was. That is good. Yeah. And I just, um, in my food processor, I just, I had some extra French bread in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Slice it up into cubes, threw it in there. So you guys get the recipe. I don't know if Curtis put it in the feed yet. No, actually, I forgot to. So good job for reminding me. Thank you. It's, it's the first one of the new year. I don't forgot how to do everything. Yeah, I guess. I'm I mean, right there with you, Curtis. he threw away last year's scores for the uh, Throwback Thursday song battle. She claims he won. Yeah. I, I yeah, I, I, I have a suspicion I probably won. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He I said, I, won just, six in a row. I didn't stand a chance in hell of winning. He's like, I know you didn't win. I I'm do like, know that. Yeah. But then you won today. But then I won today. I'm going to roll. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, so, um, yeah, you can get the recipe at 1055online.com. Again, this is brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery, mm -hmm. six locations in South Florida. We go to the one in North Palm. Go get your ingredients and try this out. It's amazing. Oh. Now, 
And I'll tell you, once again, uh, it goes well with this. I looked it up. Cod goes well with Pinot Gris or Sauvignon Blanc. But this bottle of wine, it's really good. A Wrath. It was like 10 bucks. Like 10 bucks. Yeah. I even got my um, parsley today at Lord's. I'm going to plant it in my garden. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you go. Okay. And that's the dish. That's the dish. Uh, what is it again? Just explain it again. It's... It is baked cod with a cheddar cheese breadcrumb crust. Gotcha. Or All a right. topping if you, if you wrap it. But I really think you can make this with chicken. Yeah, try it out. It's it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And the recipe is on the website. And I'll update the photos on the website, guys, too. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I just need to see if Peter checked in and it's going to give me a key. <laughs> no, that has not happened. Uh, he already leave us. He was like, damn, no. If he heard you, he left after hearing yeah. all that. Oh, yeah. He's like silent. He's not He's not commenting. He don't want me in his place. <laughs> yeah, that's a good move. Yeah. All right. So uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, come join us on Facebook Live at 7.30, and uh, and we'll have a good time. I'm thinking tomorrow we should be like free for all Friday. Mm. You know? You want to boss's office for how long? No, no, no. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Mm. They trust me now. I've been doing this long enough. I mean, hey, if you say it, we might play it. I mean, it's That's just going to be a free for all. Don't do that one. Well, <laughs> no, that one's not going to work. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's, not good. <laughs> it's just never going to happen. <laughs> See, this is what happens. These two stifle my creativity. I, stifle I don't want to be in the boss's office all afternoon. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, I'm Happy sad now. Again. I'm sad. He'll be all right. Uh, Velma, <laughs> I'm going to give this recipe a try. <laughs> okay, Kim, I'll, I'll tell Curtis the joke that you sent me. That's good. All right, I'll tell him that. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Have a Thanks. great night. Happy Bye. Bye. Bye.